Uh, Senator Hildegard Norton, you have five minutes. Thank you, Herlock. I'd like to uh, thank the Minister for coming in here today, and I would greatly welcome those guidelines. They are long overdue, as has been said. Um, bullying affects all age groups and people from all walks of life, and I think it is quite correct when other senators today have said that this is not just an issue for schools, and as a primary school teacher myself, um, I feel like I can say that it is a, a question for wider society. And I think it's important that young people are allowed to take the lead on this. Um, as I think Senator O'Brien has said that, and others, that if young people can come out and take the lead and suppose, be mentors for one another and to I suppose, lead the way on it, they will be far more likely to listen to one another than to parliamentarians on this. They say one out of five people are bullied um, in cyberspace and 26% of bullying is done via mobile phone. So there is no escaping it. You're carrying it around in your pocket. It's constantly following you and it is permanent. And I think it's important that young people understand that what they put up on line reflects them and they, it reflects what, who they are and what they stand for. And I think young people um, are in a position to do that. And there was reference made to Corla Nanog there in Waterford. They're having um, their cyber day on the 3rd of October. And they represent uh, 5,000 young people between the age of 12 and 18. And I think that's a very important um, movement and something that I would like to see spread nationwide. I think that would be very important and suppose changing the culture um, because that's what it is. It is a culture change that needs to be done uh, right across the community. Um, with regard to I suppose, dealing with bullying and how we, we deal with it in life, I think primary school is a key area to deal with it at that level. SPHE has been mentioned here, and I think we need to really look at um, putting in place um, a program in the schools that teach pupils about how to deal with day-to-day -day life, coping skills in life. When you're having a bad day, how do you deal with that? If somebody says something to you, how do you deal with those emotions? Being able to deal with um, so the pressures that young people have that I certainly, I feel myself and my peers didn't have to deal with when we were younger. So there are a lot more pressures on people and I think it is um, essential that we start at primary school so that um, we, young people have the coping skills and also that they're brave enough and the brave enough to be able to report when they do hear or see um, bullying taking place. And I think that will be a very important uh, part of cyberbullying, that they have an understanding that when you publish something, it is your words and it, you, there will be consequences for that, whether it is you applying for a job in the future or um, with regards to uh, bullying other people, um, bullying your peers. So I think that I suppose the consequences of it need to be um, highlighted to young people but I, I really come back to the fact that I think young people themselves need to drive this and I think there is a great willingness for them to do that if they're given the opportunity and I would just commend Corlin and Ogan Waterford and I think it's something that um, and Waterford County Council it's something that we should be looking for looking at to uh, spread right across the, the country. Thank you Minister.